Welcome back everyone, today I have another video. This time we're doing Sabo, uh, the new leader that came out out of the structure deck. Uh, I wanted to see how good it was. And actually I'm surprised that it's actually pretty decent. I think it's very good against control decks more than anything. Uh, it's actually kind of bad against aggressive decks because he wants to be the aggressor uh, and he plays a lot of like cheeky ways to get uh, a lot of value out of that, of course. So the main idea is that the leader, uh, if you have a 7k character or more uh, and a 3 or higher character, you can put it in your life and then give something else uh, plus 7k, I mean plus 2k. And then uh, that's that, that's it, right? So the best card that you can give a plus 2k is definitely Zoro. So if you have, for example, an, uh, Kikunojo on the for, on the board, attack for seven with her, then play uh, Zoro, G uh, put the Kokinojo in your life, then give a Zoro a plus 2k, you attack for seven, and likely you're gonna be able to attack with seven again with the with the Sabo. So it's very, very aggressive, and you're gonna put the opponent at three lives, so the this card is gonna be active, so you're gonna be able to play for free from life. So like that's one of the like one of the best combos in the deck. Another one that I like a lot is this Luffy. You can play early on, you can attack a lot, and then later during the game, you can put him in your life again, and then um, bring it out again. So you get like a dual attack with this guy, and against like decks that rely a lot on blockers, you can get like a double attack that doesn't re require to, like you can get through blockers, which is pretty good. I played this one too, so you can enable the 7k attack easier, or you can attack with big numbers. Uh, which is important for some, um, and you can just push damage with this card, which is important. Getting rid of blockers is an added value, but usually you are like a two life. Usually, this uh, this card is only so you can pump your own cards, and you can uh, definitely just try to deal the damage. Um, Radical Beam because it's, it's a yellow deck. I, I think it's the best defensive option that we have against aggressive decks, which we are not. <coughs> Sorry, too keen against those decks. So we do need a card like this one so you are able to uh, to do something right. Uh, I'm playing this Koala and Karasu because they work with this leader because he's a revolutionary army leader. So their effects will activate. Uh, I didn't play them. Honestly, this one didn't even seem that good, to be honest. I mean, I'm sure there is a, a, a scenario where it's very good. So I wanted to keep it on the deck for that reason. But maybe there's another option for this guy. Um, in theory, it's really good because it functions with the leader. Uh, in practice, against a lot of removal, it's kind of really bad. But... If, if it's something against against maybe like an aggressive deck could be really good like to gain control of the board uh, so maybe that's why you have to play him because it's good against like aggressive decks maybe uh, we'll have to see holy Om is one of the best combos in this deck too honestly uh, being able to because it, it works very well because you can if you play two cards per turn then the following turn you immediately are able to use the litter ability and what, what happens end up happening is that you get to play this guy put this one on live and then you get to when you play them again next turn you get to search for another maybe holy so you get car advantage a lot with this um and it's very useful for the leader i think it's a very good combo uh i wish i could play maybe the searcher so i can get this more consistently these two cards more consistently but i don't know if i have enough space maybe you can cut this for the searcher uh you can play the other the one that plays from life instead the koala like there's a lot of options that you can do here I played this blocker because it's a, a play that you can do on uh, going first or uh, at many points during the game and he can become a 7k very easily and then you can put it on live so it's, it's a cheap play that allows you to uh, enable your leader basically i'm playing beige and i'm playing luffy beige mainly for the defense on life but also it's a three uh, cost card that you can give it make it a 7k with like an amaru and then put it on your life and then you're protected from one turn very um underrated combo which i didn't get to pull off in this video but i mean it is there it's an option and it's a good option at that point so if you have this too it's a, it's a, it's a decent way to get to the 7k put this in your life and then you're chilling right uh, and that's pretty much the, the same reason with the luffy you can play early and then put it in your life uh the same reason why i played this guy is susceptible to removal but if it, it's a deck that doesn't have too much removal then this car is is, is great right uh, but yeah, and that's the deck that I have. Um, I, I, I had a lot of fun playing this deck. Um, I think it's actually pretty decent. Uh, as an aggressive option versus a lot of control decks, it's very good. There's a lot of decks that just give you enough time to pull up your combos. This deck is very, very good. And uh, Kiku is definitely one of the... Like, this card is one of, definitely one of the uh, outliers of this deck. So definitely uh, one of the reasons to play this deck. And uh, yeah, with that being said, let's go to the gameplay. 
And I would like to thank our sponsor for today, Heart Pirates TCG, for this brand new website for the One Piece community, Moonlight TCG. It has weekly webcam tournaments that you can sign up right now, all the latest tournament results, as well as the respective tech list. You can also get playmats and feature accessories that you can get on the shop. And my personal favorite, a look into all the upcoming events so you can set up your tournament trips with ease, as well as hotel and food discounts. So go check them out and thank them for uplifting our community. All right, we're gonna go second against Saka. This hand is good, so I'm gonna keep. It's not bad. Uh, we get to maybe do Luffy. No, we get to do Sawa stuff, I think, next turn. But we're gonna play Okiku. And then, I don't know if I played the Luffy. No, no, I think I saved the Luffy for a turn where he has a full board. And we can just buy a turn uh, that way. I think it's very important. draw nothing to do here uh, i think i'll take an early damage here oh this is annoying did he find the home place he did kind of want a home right now so what we draw uh, holy is not what i want to see but we gotta force this cards out of him, so might as well just do this. He's not gonna do it this turn. Okay. How do I deal with this? I actually don't have a way to deal with this. Uh, not use is fine. Draw. I guess. Okay, I have a plan actually. Attack here for seven. Then play. Then attack for. S Wait, hold on. He can have something here. So then heal, make it a seven. Attack for seven. And then attack for seven. Okay, that's like the best play that I could have done here. Uh, no blocker, just combo one. So then we, we can decide when we want to trigger this. So now we trigger it. Ah, so we keep the Zoro. Okay, that's huge. then we can do Luffy. Yes. Okay. Actually, pretty nice. Attack 777. And then we have the Luffy on life. We play around the removal very well. This is why this deck could be really good against type of decks like this one. Um, put it on the top. Give this one a 2k bust. And then oh, put it up. Uh, put him at. He has to combo this one. Oh, he gave me three cards. He did. God damn, that's so good for us. Now, if he wants to give us this life, that's a problem for him. Because he gave us three cards on that attack, so he doesn't have 2k counters. Huge problem for him. And I also have Luffy. I could defend it and then play this for like a, a bunch left and then attack for a bunch. So I think the best course of action for me is defend this Luffy like it's like no one's busy. He's probably not even going to attack me, but he is dead if he does. He's so bad of a spot for him because... If he attacks me, I get the Luffy, and then if he doesn't have enough Connor, I kill him. So it, it will tell me if he has enough Connor or not. This this play, whatever he does here. It will tell me if he has enough Connor or not to kill me. He does not have enough Connor. So uh yeah, I mean here he just he's dead. <laughs> he's dead to Luffy. Uh gain um 
Yeah, no, no. It's over. He can get all the counter that he wants, but I don't think he can combo. I don't have a Maru. That's the only thing, but. We can do it twice if we want to, but yeah, this is more than enough. Fourteen. <laughs> oh, I was gonna say he has it. God damn. The way he should combo like three cards. Nah, yeah, he didn't have it. I think we have a good matchup versus Sakatsuki, if anything else. All right, we're going first. This hand is actually kind of cracked in this game. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna keep. Now I do have to be careful on his um, removal, I guess, but it's fine. It's fine. We have the Luffy, which is what matters the most here in this matchup, I think. Is the unblockable one that can get through the uh, the Sabos. Although he's gonna make his leader like a bajillion. That's that doesn't help. But still, uh, let's attack him. He can play the Luffy. The Luffy, it's okay. It's not that uh, it allows him to get through like me. Um, it's like just doing nothing to his life. Maybe I should attack with this one actually, because if I attack with this one, he will attack the Zoro, right? Ah, but I can heal the Zoro later, and it won't be that bad. I think I want to combo out of this one because he's going to hit me for like a truck with some other cards here. Um, well, Let's attack here. See what the opponent wants to do. He wants to take. Okay. Let him go. Now we put the Luffy there. See what he wants to do. Still waiting on the opponent at the moment. And then we can heal the Zoro, I guess. Next Or we can play the Luffy. It's also fine. Sloofy is gonna be a problem for him. He just sits there and does a lot. <sighs> yes. Oh, Kiku is perfect right now. Because <laughs> that puts him in, in a really precarious spot. Where he has to out-combo these cards. Yeah, I don't think he even has time for the... Uh, for the gecko. All right, attack for seven. Okiku was the perfect uh, card there on the first life. Uh, use ability, send this one to the bottom, makes this a six. Uh, do we want to play another Okiku? We might, I, I want to eat at his hand a little bit. Because then the Luffy is much more impactful. I honestly just want to eat at his hand. Um, two, four. I mean, yeah, I'll just attack for eight. Yeah, my opponent shouldn't have been defending that one, but I don't mind. It's, it's fine. It's good with me. Now, this is a 7k. So really attacking this one is not that likely, but I mean, if he does attack it, I just let it die. It's fine. <laughs> I have better attackers than my board. Garp is good. <laughs> this is, look, look at him. He's just looking at him like, yeah, go to zero. I dare you. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely just uh, a mean looking at, at, at his counterpart. <laughs> It's difficult to play this leader without like having to set up your life and oh wait does this kill five? Oh yeah he does okay but that still not the greatest for him even though it does hurt here I might have to combo out of this one though uh here yeah that is annoying however uh Let's see what he does here. I mean, we get double Okiku for free at a life, right? That's pretty nice. And he has to combo out of this one or not. Okay. And we get to pressure for sure. Uh, 
we get to take a lot of cards from hand, which is what we want to do if other options fail. Um, yeah, here. Attack for nine. It's going to have to probably block. You have, have to assume. He's making calculations to see which one is... Oh, this one is bigger, though. Uh, remove. Make this a huge number. Attack for 11. Has to give us his whole hand. Yeah, not good enough. Oh, he didn't have enough for anything anyway. <laughs> uh, there was another Okiku in life. Honestly, it was Okiku that gave us that game, I think. Because her being able to get back into the life and just keep doing it. Kind of busted. So, yeah. She was really the MVP on this matchup. Alright. And uh, this matchup. I think the card that we want a mulligan for is the 5 drop cost Luffy. Uh, they chose to go first. This is not a bad hand. But I think I have a lot of 2Ks. Yeah. Okay. This is much better. Because this card is going to give us the game, if anything. Like, it's, it's going to be, like, the best way to win the game. The Luffy. We just leave it there. We just put it menacingly on the field. And then uh, hopefully that should be enough to win. Um, I think I shall block early. Because they're going to attack me for big numbers. Uh, sure. No, I think it's good. I'm going to need that to win the game. I'm going to attack here. Play Okiku. Let him go. Now I do want to... Huh. He's going to play a fight drop anyway here. The Luffy fight drop. Okay. I wonder if he takes here. Okay. I will attack for five here as well. Oh, maybe it should be seven. Actually, it should be seven. That is not bad at all. Perfect. Let him go. If he kills my Okiku, I mean, it's fine. Now the Sabo is not that good of an option anymore. Oh, he took the life. Okay, so he can do Sabo if he wants to. We can also just do unblockable Luffy for a bunch. That is a problem for him. He also doesn't have anything to put into the graveyard. How is he going to even play anything? We can just eat at the hand next turn. If he plays a like unblockable or something like that. Now, this deck is, it requires a lot of setup. And if you don't set up correctly... You can get really punished. And it looks like my opponent is going to get really punished here. Now you can only bring back like one card. And what's that going to do? That's not good enough. I will just eat at his hand. Or maybe just go for going for game this next turn. 7 is good though. Uh, okay, I'll take the free life. Don't mind. Don't mind if I do. I'll take it. Oh, that's so good. Yes, sir. That is really good. Okay, so we just attack with that guy, right? For like this much. Could attempt to go for game two. Next turn, he goes double ace, trying to go for game. This is nine. He has to give me two two Ks. But then he, his leader will be much bigger next turn. 
Should I just attempt to go for game? You know what? I think so. Because then he, his leader is going to be like 9k. And that makes it so much more difficult. I still have like a second one. So like if anything, he has to give us his whole hand here. And then... Um, Okay, he has to give us his whole hand, and I have the Luffy. So unless he has a Gecko Moria exactly here, it should be okay. And even if he does have the Gecko Moria, we have the Luffy to maybe get there. And if we tap with this one, then it'll be much better. But I don't think I should defend this one. Because he's going to play Gecko Moria, play two of the um two of the guys becomes a 9k and attacks here do i have enough to combo that no i don't so then it's just might as well just do this right oh if there's no get komoria he's dead Oh, he's just absolutely dead. Uh, well, not, not... Oh, wait. He did have Gekko Moria. Why didn't he play Gekko Moria? Oh, he didn't have Tendon. Yeah, I don't have Tendon. So, yeah, he wouldn't have been able to do Gekko Moria. Oh, yeah, he's just not... It's not going to survive this one, right? Oh, he has two... Oh, okay, 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 okay. I see. I see why he plays this. Okay, yeah, it makes sense. A lot of sense. So then, huh? Well, this is interesting. Um, I guess I'll combo out of that one. So I'm gonna have to take this one. Take this one, okay. Oh, I think that's enough. Right? Let's attack for six. Okay, he just combos out of that one. Honestly... I just pass, right? Because we can do like dual attack on. Like this has to be Gecko Moria, which I don't think he kept. He would have kept it here, right? But he doesn't have any Connors, so maybe it is Gecko Moria. What do you think? <laughs> Definitely playing this one. But he won't be able to set it up with the Luffy, so it's fine to just play the blocker here, right? Oh, I guess he can do it with this Luffy. Never mind, I'm I'm dumb. But it's still fine, right? Because we can just do Luffy for a bunch. Uh, can he kill? He can kill my blocker, right? Maybe we just block that one. Let's see what he does. He can set up double block to do the same thing that he did last turn, but this time with, oh uh, yeah, he's going to do it. Okay. That makes sense. He's going to play another blocker. He's going to play more blockers. All right. This is pretty good for him though. Oh, he's going to get a surge. Okay. 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 Good opponent. Good opponent. He gets a 1k Connor. He's going to play the ace. I probably wouldn't hire you and play the ace, honestly. Just getting the two life there is probably good enough. 
Oh, does that matter? Okay, so he has a 1k Connor. No, he discarded this apple. He has two 2k Connors. How do we do this? Put him to zero and then attack for, yeah. See if he takes this one. Cause I think I have enough if he does take this one. Okay, okay, okay. I mean, it doesn't matter. I want him to combo 1k here, right? He should block, but I, I think he if he combos a 1k, I would be much better here. Oh, yes. <laughs> we win. Uh, I don't know if I need to play a guy first, but I'm going to do it. And then do this one to play the Luffy. And do a second dual attack here. I think we uh, bamboozle our opponent here. <laughs> yeah, we absolutely did. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go second here. Um, hmm. Yeah, this one is good. <laughs> we get to maybe play Holy Home. We. I really like it. Um. Maybe there's an argument for no, but this matchup I want to go second. I want to take their um, possibility of them uh, having the best draw. Ooh, hold on. I wonder if I attack on this matchup. I mean, I have a blocker, which could be good. Maybe I should just. Uh, maybe I should just wait. But the longer I wait, the worse it gets for me. But if he hits a trigger, oh, it'd be really bad for us. Oh, it's fine. I'll take this one. Oh my god. <laughs> it was your Kiku. Never take the damage. You know what? I'll 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 play the holy on. So I can yeah, okay. This is okay. It didn't get anything, but at least we get this one out. So we can heal or kick or something like that. Next turn, we can combat this boar at least. I also, mm, yikes. I'm taking that first fight was really a bad mistake. Also playing our five case here, kind of maybe also. Uh, him attacking for fives is kind of bad. All right, take that one, I guess. Five. Keep the two K Connor. We get to heal at least. Oh yes. Okay. Well, at least we hit the two Kiku. All right. So. We're at one. You can tap everything. Um, we get to heal the Okiku at least. And we attack his life. Let's see what he does. Ah, he doesn't want to. We don't have any life here to spare. Right, we have to attack this, of course. We attack this one. And, um, do we heal or, or Connor here? Maybe. Damn, I have zero Connors in hand at the moment. Uh, I think I have to heal one of our Connors here. 
Oh wait, I cannot heal anything. I'm sorry, I forgot that I need to be 7k. I'm dead. <laughs> I'm absolutely dead. Unless he goes after my board, which would be amazing, but... Don't think so. Oh, he might not. He might not go for game. I mean, why would he be psyched out of this game, though? Nah, yeah, he's just getting something else so he can rush. I need some Amaru's on life or something like that. Yeah, I just go for game here. I guess that's not terrible, but I still I, I will lose to this. Yeah. Okay, we have our uh, hand against this leader. I think we're going to play the Luffy going first. Although you can get removed that, but it doesn't matter. Honestly, it's fine. Uh, we might even go to two. So then we can heal later. Sounds okay to me. Like on turn seven, we're going to go crazy. <laughs> I know, right? Oh, he took the first life. That's uh, That seems like a mistake. I guess he might not have the uh, the field spell. That could be a reason why. It doesn't seem to have it, so... Should be in a good spot here. Narokiku is good, but I think I'd rather play... Holy on, right? Because next turn I can just go really hard. Yeah, I think so. In case of removal, I also want to have the uh, the ohm. That's why. They're still looking for the field spell. It seems like oh, such. We did get an ohm, so we get to play it at least for free. <sighs> Okay. Do they have to bottom deck anything? No, right? Uh, yeah, take it. So we're gonna go to two, so this is active. Annoying. Not the biggest problem. I guess I'll buff the holy, right? This makes it easier for me to play Anokiku as well. Because I think that's what I want to do. Uh, he doesn't get the ramp on this one. So it's all good. And we can play an. Oh, this is pretty good actually. Uh, is it on attack? No, once per turn. So return this one, pump this guy, attack for seven, I guess, whatever. It doesn't matter. He's either blocking or attacking that one. Yeah, it's fine. Attack for six, and let's play the Okiku. Should be okay. Now the easier one to attack, it will be our leader. And if he attacks and give us a home, we get to play another holy. Pretty decent. I like this, I like this. Have some combos. Oh, he's going for the holy. Uh, I mean, I guess I'll save him. If he wants to attack that one, then. So good, right? Uh, yeah, I'll take it. No reason not to. We can get another holy out. Annoying, but manageable, I think. Um, okay. Deploy. Don't get anything. 
return to our cursed deck. Let's play a holy. Then we're going to attack with this one for seven. Use Sabo's ability, bring back the uh, Okiku to our top of the deck. That sounds pretty good. And then attack for 7-7. Seven, seven. Uh, yeah, without the field spell, he's not going to outpace us here. He has to spend Dawn trying to kill my holy. Yikes, he's in a really tough spot. He has to combo three queens here. No, nah, ah, I guess he doesn't get to play double queen next turn. Which would be my response here, but oh, seems like a rough deal, let me tell you. I guess he ramps to nine. Oh, still not in the best spot, let me tell you. He can attempt to go for game. It's, it's an option. Okay, so he's gonna go Kaido. That removes half the problems, of course. But he cannot attack me, or else he just play an, uh, her for free. And he only has two cards in hand. Seems really unlikely he's gonna win. Um, and we can do the trick with the uh, Luffy, right? Actually, pretty nasty here. Play. Attack for seven. Use ability. Put the Luffy there. Uh, give 7k to this one. Uh, this is exactly what the deck wants to do. And then attack for seven. Six and an eight. I don't think he can come back out of that one. He's at zero life, yeah. Oh, he finally found the, the field spell. <laughs> a little bit too late. All right, I'm going to choose to go second because uh, this is exactly the reason why. Because we can maybe get some holy ohms going rather. <laughs> We're going to play Holy Om, Holy Om, Holy Om until we find one. At least one we're going to be able to find. I, I, I refuse to believe we're not going to find one at least. And um, yeah, I mean, this hand is fine. We have also Kiku, but she is more susceptible to removal. We can also put her on life. Uh, it doesn't seem that great, honestly. <laughs> Definitely just gonna let him go here. Uh, I wonder if I play the Okiko first so he can bottom deck it and then we play Holy Om. I guess it matter. It depends on. Ooh, he's. I guess Rob Lushi doesn't matter. Oh. Oh my god. This is our game plan, brother. Uh, Holy Om until we get tired. <laughs> this is the rank, by the way. So. Hopefully your opponents know what they're doing. I mean, I get, I, I had to reset my uh, my computer, so I think my rank got reset because I had to create a new account. So I don't know what level my opponents are at this moment, but hopefully they're good. Uh, we didn't find any. All right, one we whiffed. The next one we will not. Hopefully. <laughs> oh boy, that's a problem. But if he attacks us, then we take the damage and we, yeah, we tap this guy. Too important to get rid of this. Um, plus 3k. Oh, I, I chose the... I chose it incorrectly. Oh, really? This should not be on the board. God damn it. Oh, it's a, a one life. I'm sorry. This is not... I, I am the one mistaken here. Uh, 
I don't know why I thought this worked out too live. I am absolutely... <laughs> okay, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. We sent one holy to the bottom, by the way. Important information here. Now, we can do double rush Luffy next turn into this guy. He's gonna have to remove some of our guys, I assume. But at least we have three bodies, so much better at the moment. I wonder if I do another Holy Ohm. No, I think a Lush Rush Luffy is probably good. I mean... I'm gonna lose this too, right? Yeah, probably. Oh, he's gonna attack here. He's not even gonna attack with. Okay. I'll take that one. No blocker. Do I really need two holy arms? I don't think so. It should be fine. We can put this back into our life. Also, he didn't remove both. That's so good. Uh, let's attack for six. See if he wants to give us his whole hand. That's that's okay with me. Then one, two, three, four, five, two, and one. Okay, that works. Oh, he doesn't have two Ks. Oh, broken. Wait. Uh. Seven. Oh, 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 wait, wait, wait. No, it doesn't work. I guess we do this one. Put the Luffy on life. Make this one bigger. Uh, this is, however I look at it, this is 7-8. Seven, 7, yeah, 7-8. Seven, so more, probably just 7-7 seven, seven is fine. Just keep up the radical beam just in case. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're in a good spot. He is going to remove my two guys here. But next turn I get the Luffy Rush. Uh... No blocker. I do have the combo though. Do I need you? Um. <laughs> Maybe not. And we can have double unblockable here. No, 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 not double unblockable. We're definitely gonna bring out the Luffy with this, though. Hmm, there's a Holy. But it, it's okay. So what do we do? We play this guy, right? Yeah. We play, we use the ability. So we can make the leader 2k. Then we attack for whatever number this is. See if he has 2k's. Make it unblockable. He doesn't have 2k's, so I know he's not going to be able to combo this. I mean, he didn't have 2k's. Maybe he does have now. Okay, that's cool. Then we play the Okiku. We do this. Use ability. Send this one to the deck. To the top. So it dodges removal. Make this one a little bit bigger and attack for eight. See if he keeps the blocker. We probably just choose block. And that's it. Oh, defending, I don't think is the right option. Because then we can just take this life. And then force him to attempt to go for a game here. 
Mind you, he might be able to. We're eight. I'll take this one. Now we have the unblockable for him. So he has to go for game here. Not gonna happen. Uh, I don't need this. Yeah, him defending that blocker is kind of troll. Because now he has to remove the Okiku as well. He needed to keep as many 2k counters as he, as he could. So our opponent did mess up here, but I mean, he didn't have any combo at all, so it doesn't matter. All right, and for the final thoughts on this deck, um, I can see this being a little bit better than the Ace deck. Uh, it's like the second best deck coming out of the new three star decks. So I would put it like uh, the Luffy, then the Sabo, and then um, Ace at the moment. Uh, until they get more support, then they maybe become different uh, in my ratings. But I think those are like the the, the stats on, on what I think like the three best leaders based on like what I play. But with that being said, thank you all for watching and have a good day.